You've heard of Beastmaster. This is Playground Master. Kids from all over the world have come to test their skills and abilities to see who can be the next Playground Champ. After preliminary rounds, we have a handful of kids who will move on to the next and final test. This next course has been specifically designed for our finalists as an extreme test for the last two who remain. Those who have the fastest time on these two courses will move on to the finale. The next and final course is the Tower of Spin. The kid who reaches the top and touches the green pole will be crowned king of the playground. Let's go down to the playground and meet our first contestant, Micah McGurgan. He hails from a small town in Norway called Bergen. There he spends most of his day swimming in ice-cold lake water. He joined Playground Masters because he knew that swimming in lake water might be detrimental to his long-term health, and because he recently just lost his pet turtle, Ralphie. Our next contestant, Ali Le Pew, comes to us by way of Paris, France. She was here last year, but pulled her hamstring. She's been working at a local gym in France to strengthen that hamstring and to return and claim her rightful place as king of the playground. Our third contestant, Lee Boy. He comes from Amarillo, Texas. He's a full-time bull rider on the PBA circuit. He comes to Playground Masters and says, an American's gonna win this. Our next competitor comes to us by way of a small volcanic island in Japan. Her name is Blozy Alata. There she trains as a sumo wrestler and goes by the nickname Baby Wonton. She hopes to leave a big presence on the games. Let's go down to the playground and watch her warm up. Our next athlete comes to us by way of Moscow, Russia. He joined the Russian military where he became a sniper. He tried out for playground masters to further test himself. Let's see this youngster on the playground. This young man goes by the name of Ippy Dippy, a name he was given in his military unit. Our next competitor is Lucy Ting from Peking, China. She's a three-time gymnastics gold medalist and says winning Playground Masters would be her greatest championship. Our next competitor is Maximus Decimus. He comes from Rome, Italy. He's a gladiatorial reenactor. Needless to say, he still lives with his parents in their basement. Let's go to the playground and see this man-child in action. Our first competitor on the course is Lucy Ting. She starts out on the spider's web. This can be very tricky if your foot placement isn't exactly right. But being a gymnast, she should get through this fairly easy. She's coming up to the arch. She transitions well. Now she's down the ramp. This is not a hard section. But if she doesn't watch her feet and she hits the ground, she could be disqualified. It looks like she made it through that fairly easy. Now she's on the mushroom tops. She's navigated that. This is the monkey bars. This can be challenging, but as a gymnast, she should have the upper body strength to get through this. Oh, she's struggling. Oh, she's down. It's an upset. Let's go down to take a look and ask Lucy what exactly happened. I did the best I could, monkey bars got the best of me, but this isn't the last time you'll see me. Let's quickly go back to the playground for our next contestant. This is uh, Maximus on the spider's web. I'd like to say that that's a great attitude for Lucy T. I don't think this will be the last we see of her. Now Maximus, he's making his way through the spider's web. I like what this competitor brings to this competition. He brings a, a sense of power. It's more athletes are agile, but I think his strength will power him 
through a lot of these obstacles and also these different and more difficult situations and these transitions. My only fear is that his footwork may not be as complete as the other athletes, but he seems to be making it through this initial obstacle fairly well. Let's see the transition here. He does that with ease. Now he's on the ramp. He's taking a different strategy. He's going on a higher bar here. He might be trying to avoid accidentally hitting the ground. And he seems to be swinging back and forth to keep his balance. And this could be a good strategy. It could, could wear him out. He seems to be stopping. Oh, he's going backwards. Okay. I've seen this, but now he's just showing off. This could come back to bite him if he doesn't concentrate. This can can lead to losing your concentration. And, oh, that, and that's that's what happens. He, I'm not sure he realized what just happened. He's been disqualified. Let's go down and see what what was what was he thinking? Do you think that that showboating might have hurt you in the end? I worked hard, but it wasn't my day. Yeah, I, I hate when that happens to a competitor. They work so hard to get to this level. They have such a self-inflicting wound that they could have helped. And we do hope to see him next year. Uh, our next competitor, Micah McGurgan, is already making his way. He made it through the spider's web. He's onto the ramp. He's moving very quickly. You know, he's dedicating this run to his pet turtle, Ralphie, which he did lose a couple months back. Now, he's he's making his way now down to the monkey bars. and the mush Oh, he's, he's a little lost, but he's back on course. He's at the monkey bars here. He'd be the first competitor to complete this level and complete this course if he can make it through the monkey bars. He's on to his last one here. Can he, oh, he's, he's on the ramp. Let's go down and take a look and, and ask him uh, what he felt about the course. Um, my hands got really injured there, so my monkey balls. And so when I was climbing on those things, my hands started holding. And my monkey balls, my legs were about to give out. So what I did is I kept swinging them and swinging them so I get enough momentum. So that's what happened. Now, so. let's pause for a moment. Thank you, City of San Antonio, Texas, for sponsoring Playground Master. This is the second year we've been here. Me and the crew had an opportunity to tour the city. We're known for the robust cattle industry, and we also had the opportunity to tour a boot-making factory, which is one of their largest employers in San Antonio, Texas. They distribute millions of boots to people around the world. We also were able to go to one of their more famous attractions, the Riverwalk, in downtown San Antonio. We met a lot of people and a lot of business owners we're happy we were here because it brings in a lot of money this time of year. We also went past the Alamo where Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and Colonel Travis gave their lives in the defense of the freedom of Texas. Let's go back to the stadium and look over this crowd. This is the largest crowd we've ever had for Playground Masters. They're cheering for our next athlete. Let's go back to the playground. Let's catch up with our next athlete, Ippy Dippy. He's already starting the spider's web. Now, he served in the Russian military, and I think that will bode him well with the mental fortitude on these different obstacles. Let's catch up with him now on the mushroom tops. He's got great leaping ability, probably serving in the military with all those obstacles they have to do. Now he's to the monkey bars. Can he get up there? He's a little short for this. Let's see what he can do. Oh, he falls! Let's go down and see what he thinks about not winning this event. I don't win, I just want cookies. You know, I can't blame the little guy. I just want cookies, too. Now, let's look at our next athlete, Molly Le Pew. Remember, she was here last year, but she pulled a hammy and couldn't complete the course. She's back and she's rehabbed. Let's see what she could do this year. Let's now catch up with her at the monkey bars. You know, if she completes these monkey bars, she'd be the only second athlete to complete this course. And she's got it. Let's go talk to her. Molly, how does it feel to finally complete this course? I've been training for two and a half days now. Thought I finished. Thought I didn't let my country down. But I'll see you on the next course. And we're back. We are sorry about that. We want to apologize to our viewing audience. We lost the signal. The broadcast went out, but we're back. We pick up with Lee Boy. He's already moving very quickly through the course, and he's on the mushroom tops. This speed might be one of the fastest times we've had on this course. Remember, four people can advance. We had two already. Can he be the third with one more athlete to go? He's on this last part here. He's struggling a, a little bit. He's got, oh, I think he's got it. Yes, he will be our third. Let's go and talk to him. 
Lee Boy, what do you think about the competition out there this year? There's some tough competitors, but Americans are going to win this. With speed like that, he just might win. Now let's go down to the playground for a special interview with Blozy Alotta. Blozy, we just got word that you'll have to pull yourself out of this event because of a loaded diaper. Do you have any comments? No, it looks like Blosey has no comments and she doesn't want to be interviewed. I can understand that. A loaded diaper, that can just creep up on you. And we have additional breaking news. You were looking at film from Molly Le Pew. This is earlier when she was warming up on the next course. She makes a step here, and these are awkward steps. This is the slide mountain part of the course. And you'll see as she comes up when she takes this step right here, right there, that's when she pulls her hamstring. Let's take a look at it again. It looks like it tears when she steps off the slide mountain onto the whole apparatus. She steps right here onto the whole obstacle. Right there, that's where she overextends and that's when it goes. We went down to the playground to interview Molly. We found her massaging her hamstring. We tried to get an interview, but she was clearly too upset. She wanted me to pass on to her friends and fans that she appreciated all those who supported her this year and she will be back next year. Due to only having two athletes left, Micah McGurgit and Lee Boy, we move straight on to the final course, the Tower of Spin, where these two will go at it. Let's go there now. They have already started. This obstacle is more difficult because it's spinning as they're climbing to the top. It looks like Lee Boy has a little bit of a lead. It looks like he might touch first. Let's see. Yes, right there. Lee Boy has touched first. It's unofficial. The judges, let's go to the judges and see what they say. They say he has touched. I don't think he knows. Yes, they told him now. Lee Boy is this year's Playground Masters Champion. He is so excited. That's well deserved. He's ridden a lot of bull and taken a lot of bull. And he comes out here and he proves himself that he is the king of the playground. And there's the fireworks. I'd like to thank our crew and our production team for making this year's Playground Masters a success. And I'd also like to thank the viewing audience for tuning in. And we'll see you next year. This has been an All Things MNL production.